We would be foolish not to use Fanuc. There's no question of their pedigree. They've got the expertise to back this up wherever it goes. And we've got a very good working relationship with the management team at Fanuc. that you see behind us, Mall Art to Engineering have managed to sell to China. Congratulations. Thank and you. what a sell. Now we're going to talk about this in just a few moments time and how the whole process works. But let's start off with who are Mall Art to Engineering? Well Mall Art Engineering uh, started as a family company in 1929. And basically the Mall Art family actually owned the business at that time. Five years ago, we had we had uh, a management buyout, and we basically have now taken over the business. So we'll still continue to design and develop deep hole drilling machines, as the company has done since 1965. So this is all part of the cell. So what is it, the end goal? What are you producing here? The, we are producing a part of the transmission shaft for a hydraulic gearbox. So we're only putting the long holes into the shaft only but they're the they're most difficult technical. part <laughs> yeah so yeah. explain the the accuracies and, and what, okay. what you're machining the sizes well we actually have um, contracted to put holes into the parts to within point two of true position at the start of the hole and within point three of deviation uh, at the end of the hole 380 millimeters deep some serious engineering going on here now uh, the whole cell, you're, you've sold this now. Correct. So your customer is looking for 90% plus uptime efficiency, and that's where Fanuc have come into it. That's exactly where the Fanuc robot comes into play. Providing the, the input trays and the output trays are loaded and unloaded accordingly, this machine will feed these machines constantly. So there is a small amount of autonomy they can have because there's 12 parts in the in tray and 12 parts in the out tray but basically as soon as they're filled that machine stops the cell. And explain to the audience then what the actual process is so once that part has been loaded through one of the drawers goes into the cell what happens here? So it's picked up from the input tray and is actually delivered directly to the first machine and the machine will actually clamp up and then drill the component at 200 millimeters a minute. Um, once that's completed and the robot will be called to actually unload the machine. At that point, it will actually transfer the part to a rotate station to orientate the component for the next operation. The next operation is the same thing, basically, and the third operation, same thing again, until it's out. So there's a lot of benefits here also with the footprint but the gantry, so why does this work so well for your customer? Well, the, gant the gantry is basically not going to take up any space than, than you would do with just regular people driving the cell. So you, you've got a cell that's uh, very, very nicely put for the actual space, but uh, effectively so much more efficient than it would be if it was driven by people. Now, off camera, you have said to me, you'd be foolish not to use Bannock. So tell me why you've said this. We, 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 we would be foolish not to use Fanuc because of our relationship with Fanuc for the control side of the machines. We, we basically um, put our trust in the fact that um, we would be choosing a partner that actually, one, is world renowned for what they're doing. Yeah. There's no question of their pedigree. Two, they've got the expertise to back this up wherever it goes, including China. And three, we've got a very good working relationship with the management team at Fanuc. And there's, there's a global aspect here. Because it's almost like standardized, you can take this product and it can go across the, across the planet and yeah. people are understanding it too. Yes, that's right. I mean, this does have to, it does happen to have the Chinese language as one of the features of the Fanuc control system. But yes, it ships wherever. It doesn't matter whether it's China or Timbuktu. Yeah. It makes no difference. I know where I prefer to go, though. I'd like yeah. to go to China. Right, last one. Industry 4.0. How's it all connected? Well, the whole thing is networked. Um, right the way down to even the light stack on the machine is networked right the way through to the ERP system that's driving it all. 
So these guys can actually see how much it's actually costing them to actually run each machine, right down to the last penny of the amount of electricity it's using. And a real success story too, because you have just told me the customer has ordered their second. Yeah, that's a sign of the trust they put in us. And yes, we have. We're very excited about it. And hopefully it's one of more cells to come. Absolutely.